Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, we're going to jump into DaVinci Resolve 19, which is out in public beta. And so far there has been no big issues going from 18.6 to 19, for me at least. And I'm running on my Mac uh, M1 and also have a Mac Studio I'm using. So for those two systems, I have had no problems yet. So. That is the status report from updating to 19. But in this video, we're going to have a look at one of the new tools, which is the Color Slice tool inside of the Color tab in DaVinci Resolve 19. And this is a pretty cool tool where you can control the colors and how you want to do that, kind of like uh, you would do with Curves. Um, so in this video, we're just going to have a look into the tool and um, well, Without further ado, let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve 19. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve having a look at the Color Slice tool. In the Color tab, we have these two clips we're just going to briefly use as examples in this tutorial. So let's just head right over to the Color page. So we're going to just start out by clicking on the effect, which is right here. And this is the color slice tool. The color slice tools are divided into different sectors, uh, meaning that we have a, a sector for the red, the yellow, the green, siren, blue, and magenta, and a special one for skin tones. So the way this works, we're going to start with this flower shot here. So if we hover over here, we can actually push the mouse button and it's going to highlight the colors we are targeting. In this case, this is the red color. We also have these two sliders here. The density is going to see the saturation offered. And this is the how much we're going to push the red color or what kind of red color we're going to select. Okay, so let's just, uh, for instance, tr try this one here with the red. We can see that if we push up here, we are going to make this red reddish color we can also see right here where we are and of course we can move the color as well by using either to the hue here so we can see that we are changing the colors as well like that so we are going to go here into the effect slider here and we're going to make it like this colorish thing here and if we just go up and talk we can see the difference so it goes from this into this, where we are actually targeting these colors. Of course, we could also, if we really wanted to change the colors into something completely else. And we're just going to push it all the way over here, which is by now a little too much. So we are going to go into the density slider and we can play around with that a little bit to go in how much we want some, maybe something like this. We are going to play around with the hue a little bit as well. So maybe we want to make it more like a um, purple color flower, something like this. So we went from this to this pretty fast. Um, and this is a cool tool. And also we could go in and we can check out if there are any yellows and there are some yellows. So we could take that a little bit down like so. Also, we know we have some green so we could target the green color and make it like very dark green. Or we could take some of the saturation out of that as well. So it will be more like, like that. Maybe something like, like this looks cool. We could check the siren channel, not a lot of that. So that's only these, these here, the highlights here. Then we could check the blue channel, which is fine, and the magenta, which is now the flower. And we could then, of course, go in and do some small adjustments to that. Just like that. So we'll just jump to the other clip and have a look at the skin tones as well. So I'm just going to go a little forward in this clip. So if we go in here to the skin tones, we can highlight and we are now showed here what kind of aware in the face we are going to make some adjustments. So for instance, let's just boost this up a bit. You can see what we are doing here. Okay, and I'm going to put in some taking, putting in some saturation here. 
and we can see now here looking good and then you know i could change the center again of the color here or maybe i want it to be something like this instead in the density slider i'll put that up just a little bit and you can see we took it from this into this which is more of the natural skin back in the shot we could also have a look at the red channel so if we want to for instance take some of the red out we can do that a little I'm taking out some of the saturation just a little bit also i have some magenta here i think which we can either decrease or increase or we could change the color of that a little bit something like that so for instance we went from this into this and i think we could uh, in this skin we could take it this down just a notch something like that so this is a super fast way of changing the colors in your shot without actually changing the exposure and you can all the time see what kind of color you are affecting just by hoving over here and holding down your mouse button so you can see all of these blue colors would be affected if we boosted them up or down like that so this is a super cool and a very useful tool now in davinci resolve 19. anyway i do hope you found this little video useful if you did please hit that subscribe button give the video a like share with your friends if you think it would help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel please hit that bell icon down in the corner until next time keep filming keep learning and keep sharing